This is a video fluoroscopic swallow examination of an 84-year-old woman with a history of ischemic heart disease. She was referred for an instrumental swallowing examination because she complained of food occasionally getting stuck in her throat. At the time of the video fluoroscopy, she was on a regular diet. The first few frames of the examination show that the patient has poor dentition and as a consequence, chewing is likely to be impaired. This always needs to be borne in mind when considering which consistencies to trial during the investigation. When the patient trialed thin liquids, we can see that there is reduced laryngeal elevation and incomplete airway closure on this swallow. On this thin liquid swallow, there is delayed pharyngeal swallow initiation with premature spillage. A small amount of residue in the folliculae can be seen here with some coating of the posterior pharyngeal wall. This residue and coating is within normal limits expected given chronological age. When the investigation moves on to trials of puree consistency, we see an example of a delayed oral bolus transit. This delay does not indicate a disordered swallow, it's a reflection of the normal slowing down of oral transit with age. Next, we move on to show an example of delayed oral stage on a swallow of soft food. Here you can observe mild oral residue after the swallow, which is not considered pathological in a patient of this age. When the patient is moved into anterior-posterior positioning, screening of the esophageal stage of swallowing is facilitated. This is not always considered a norm in video fluoroscopy, but can prove useful for differential diagnosis. In this position, residue is observed in the lower esophagus, with some degree of delayed bolus transit being evident. While still in the AP viewing plane, an example of delayed oral stage transit with a soft consistency is demonstrated. This is followed by intraesophageal stasis with mild retrograde bolus flow or reflux at the top of the video fluoroscopic image. This video shows an elderly swallow which cannot be considered as disordered but at the same time cannot be considered as standard for all patients of a similar age or even older. What must be remembered is that huge variations in the normal elderly swallow occur, and what has just been shown is just one example.